What's going on guys, Dustin here, and I'm here in the garage, just got done cleaning up the high country here, as you can see, the driveway's got a lot of mud, pretty bad, pretty dusty, so hopefully it's going to rain tonight, get most of that out of here, so that way I don't have to worry about it, that's the only bad thing about washing in my driveway, if I was smart I'd pull off, like over here or so in the yard, so it doesn't get all the, over the driveway, and I have to spray it off and whatnot, but you know, whatever, it's all good, got it all cleaned up, um, wheels shined up, tires shined up, you know, it made me get to thinking, and I have a bad confession for you guys, and, you know, quite honestly, I'm, I'm ashamed to even tell you guys or admit this, but, uh, you know, the, the ZR2 on the channel doesn't get much love. That's pretty obvious, you know, with the high country here, and of course, you know, I mean, it's understandable, you know, the ZR2 just kind of sits back there, and it's kind of the work truck. This is the daily driver, you know, there's a lot more creature comforts than this guy, but, ZR2 here lately is going to get a little more love. We got some things coming for it. Um, and of course, that's what today's video is about. So, like I say, I've got a confession about it. And I feel bad about it. You guys are probably going to read me in the comments. And I understand. Go ahead. I understand. I deserve it. The ZR2, my 98 ZR2 that we'll be pulling around here shortly to uh, work on, has not had an oil change in three years. And uh, I guarantee you I haven't ran a full tank of gas through it in three years either. It's pretty bad, isn't it? I know, guys, I know. Just go ahead and leave those comments. I can see them coming already. Um, the good news about it, though, is that really uh, the ZR2 in the past three years, I guarantee you it hasn't got over 500 miles of usage out of it. I probably haven't put 500 miles on the odometer in those three years. Uh, just because, you know, whenever I first moved into this house here and when I was going through college, I actually had a car. Um, a Honda Civic, and man, it was good on gas mileage, you know, and um, while I am a Chevy guy, you know, those Hondas, they make a good car, as well as uh, Brad, you know, he was, he was kind of giving me some crap, which it was all in good fun, too, but, uh, you know, my wife drives a Toyota, but I gotta say, Toyota makes a good vehicle, I can't lie, <laughs> but I'm just partial to these Chevy pickups, so, uh, you know, I got an 06 eventually, and then, uh, you know, the high country here, but today, we're going to show that ZR2 some love. What we're going to do is we're going to do an oil change on it, and we're going to see what the oil looks like after three years, and we're also going to fill it up with a little bit of gas because it, it probably needs some gas. Uh, you know, whenever I try to go start it, it almost seems like the fuel pump is weak, but I actually replaced that about four years ago, and, uh, you know, so the fuel pump shouldn't really have any problems. So I think the gas is just kind of going bad in it. I've kind of mixed some new gas, with, or some fresh gas, I should say, with some of the old gas that's in there. But just haven't really ran a tank yet. I really need to start driving it some, and I probably will. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get started on the video. And if you haven't already at this point, be sure to hit that like and subscribe. So I thought this might be a good video to post out there for you guys in case you need to know how to do an oil change on these. They're super easy. I'm not going to do the filter, but I can show you. I mean, it's straightforward. If you guys have ever done an oil change on anything, you can do it. Guaranteed. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, now that the high country's out of the way, and boy, doesn't it look good shined up in the sun there. Let's go get the ZR2, and I pulled it out so I could pull it in the garage. Pretty warm today, you know, we're mid 80s right now, believe it or not. So I think I'm gonna do the oil change in the garage here in the shade. So let's go get the uh, S10 ZR2 and get started. Uh, all right, so you guys are gonna see here shortly what I mean about this pickup. Uh, like I say, I think the gas going bad in it or whatnot. Check this out. We're going to try to start it. And it's going to take us two or three cranks to get going. But man, it's hot in here. Let's roll those windows down first. One thing I got to say, even though it's a 98, you got to check this out. And it may not be electric like the high country. And it may be stuck closed, but we'll get it open. It's got that sliding back glass, man. I remember whenever I very first got a ZR2, I thought, whew. I was legit, had a sliding back glass. All right, so let's go ahead and try to start her. Go ahead and prime the fuel pump here. Poor gal. Don't worry, she'll start here in a minute. Hey, there we go. All right. And you may notice that some stuff on my dash isn't working currently, only because I have the fuse pulled for that. 
I've got a slow phantom leak that uh, just I can't really find. So hadn't paid much attention to that. I need to do something with it sometime. So currently just have a fuse pulled. But if I hit the highway with this thing, I put the fuse in and then I've got everything I need. All right, so we got the S10 here in the garage. We're ready to roll. So let me take my stuff off so it's gonna be a little bit easier to work on. All you're gonna to need to do this job, it's really straightforward, a couple of wrenches so you can drain your oil. Uh, oil wrench for your oil filter, that is, of course. Of course, like I said today, I'm not actually changing the oil filter. Just due to the fact that this truck has had less than 500 miles in the last three years. So, it, hasn't, or it shouldn't have a lot of uh, particulates or dirty oil in there to filter out. So, I'm just going to leave the filter on there. I did buy a pretty nice, even though it's a Fram, it was one of the more expensive Fram ones. Uh, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to leave the filter on there and we're just changing the oil today. But I can give you an idea on how to do that too. So all you're going to need, and I just bought the cheap stuff at Walmart. Like I said, I don't drive this thing much, so it's going to do the trick. Some conventional 5W30. Now if you want to use synthetic, you can. Be mindful though that as these motors get older, especially on these old pickups, that uh, you know they can, they can tend to leak with that. I've seen that sometimes where you put synthetic in there and they'll leak a little bit just because motors kind of worn that synthetic stuff's a little bit more slippery so something to keep in mind. First things first, pop the hood. When doing an oil change, there's a little trick you gotta do to get this hood to pop. <laughs> when you're doing an oil change, I like to take the dipstick out so that way air can get in there. And if you allow air to get in there, it's going to drain a little bit better. So, uh, of course, we need something to drain the oil into, which I'll go get real quick. So, to kick things off, I've just cleaned up the top, best I can anyway, of my oil pan here. I'm going to slide that guy under there, and I'm just going to go ahead and take my set of wrenches under there with me. That way I'm not... Whoops, dropped a screwdriver there. That way I'm not constantly crawling from out under here to try to fetch another one. One thing that's nice about driving these lifted trucks is that they are easy to get under and work on. I do like that. So if you're gonna work on them very much, might as well lift it. All right, so I'm gonna set this back here, pretty far back. There's our drain bolt for the uh, for the oil. Looks like it's fairly good here. Let's see if I'm on the money or not. Boom, I am. First guess, pretty good. 15 millimeter. We're just going to untighten this dude, change this oil. Okay, so, got this dude fairly loose here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it by hand. And I want you to pay attention to this oil too, because I'm curious, just never doing a three year interval oil change, I'm curious to see how it comes out, if it's milky or watery or how it looks. So we're letting it out. Actually, so far, honestly, it looks fine. So. I don't know guys, if you're, if you're smarter than me, and I'm sure there's a bunch of you out there that are, let me know in the comments. If you had a vehicle that set for a long time, would you even bother with changing the oil or just let it do its thing? The thing about these Chevys is they have this magnetic drain plug, so you can actually wipe that off and kind of see the uh, what you got on there, which this guy does have some metal shavings. I mean, this, this truck almost has 190,000 miles on it, so, you know, it's a... Uh, it's seen better days, but really it's in pretty darn good shape, all things considered. So it's draining out of there pretty darn good right now. So if you want to change the filter, all you gotta do at this point is crawl out from under it. And you'll have to excuse me, like I say, this is a work truck. But uh, on these models here, what you wanna do is you wanna go up front. And this is the skid plate, right guys? <laughs> so my skid plate is actually missing the uh, cover, but right in here is your oil filter. And you can even see mine up here because guess what? It's also missing the uh, lower air dam here, uh, front valence. But here's the oil filter. All you do is put your oil filter wrench on the back here along with a ratchet or something and then undo this guy. Um, and then put your new one on and just get it hand tight guys. You don't wanna really torque these things down because they can be a pain to get off. So while that oil's draining, if you so choose so, which I'm probably gonna do it a little bit just cause I'm a little OCD about things on vehicles like that. We'll grab just a little bit of carburetor and intake cleaner. This stuff works really well. This stuff works really well to actually, you know, clean up around your engine. As you can see down there, lots of old oil and dirt on there. So I'm gonna just clean that up a little bit while we're draining the oil here. 
like I say, this part is optional. So you spray that on there, and then pretty much just wipe it right off. Let me clean my drain plug real quick. Just get it nice and looking good again. And I'm not going to get it perfect, but because this is an old work truck, but you can see this crap will wipe off and it'll look much better. And the nice thing about these Chevys too, and GM, is that they uh, they don't use a crush washer on there whenever you're changing your oil, so you don't got to worry about that. So the oil change that we're doing today for this 98 ZR2 S10 will actually apply to, uh, of course, the Chevy S10, the GMC Sonoma, and then even the Blazers, guys, uh, the uh, the Chevy Blazer, and then I think, what was it, GMC called it the Jimmy, I think is what it was. It's been a few years, guys, forgive me. Um, but this year's 98, this will work from 94 all the way to 2005, I believe, whenever they discontinue. And this is for the 4.3 liter. I don't know if the 2.2 liter is any different or not. But this has got the six cylinder option in it, so it might be a little bit different from those 2.2s. But I mean, generally your oil changes are pretty much all the same. Just your measurements and what kind of oil you're gonna use, and of course your oil filter might be a little bit different. Um, once again, we're not changing the oil filter on this guy, just due to it only having about 500 miles on it. I'm just gonna do an oil change strictly. Um, typically, whenever I'm changing my oil, I like to use OEM parts, uh, or I mean, any sort of maintenance. I like to use OEM parts. I'm just an OEM part kind of guy. So if, uh, you know, like on my pickup out there, when it comes time to change the oil, I'm going to use an AC Delco filter. I just like them. Okay, the oil has really slowed down draining, so I'm going to go ahead and screw the plug back in, the drain plug, and then we're just going to tighten it up a little bit with the wrench. And this is kind of tricky, too. You want to get it just right. You don't want to tighten it so much that it's impossible to get off next go around or you uh, you know break the head off or anything like that I just get it tight with one hand there um, but you also don't want to leave it so loose that you're draining oil and all your oil falls out and then you're uh, you know you're at Walmart or wherever you are and you just try to start it up and you ruin your engine so just gonna clean the outside of this a little bit get things a little spiffed up as you can see she's pretty dirty that carb cleaner really does a good number on it. So I'm gonna slide my tools out here. And then we'll even slide out this. And at this point, like I was showing you there, you go ahead and change that oil filter on a typical oil change. So, hardest part's over. Now it's time for my favorite part, actually. I'm gonna put my tools up real quick, which I don't like picking up tools, that's not my favorite part, but actually refilling the oil. All right, so now for the best part of the job, and that is refilling the oil. So I'm gonna clean out my uh, my funnel here. It's a little dirty on the inside. Not too bad though. And what I'm gonna do is go up here and take off the cap. And if you're never sure, if you're not sure, guys, check that out. You can see your weight of your oil right there, 5W30, which is what I believe all of these 4.3s of this era call for. So I'm just gonna take the top off. And these engines call for four and a half quarts. And I've got five quarts here, so I'm gonna use all but a half quart. So just peel the top off. Then you can use an eye for a tool or something to jam it down in there. Sometimes I just take my finger and peck it till I get there. All right, so I got the top off. Now I'm going to go ahead and start pouring. And there's a little trick. The way I'm pouring it, that you guys can see here, if you'll hold the bottle sideways from what I'm doing, it won't glug on you. But I'm pouring it slow enough that I'm not too worried about that. There, it's glugging. She's thirsty. All right, let's see where we're at. Holy moly, if anything, we might be just a little bit over full, but that's okay. If you wanted to, you could get out there, get down there and drain it. Um, but I'm, I'm okay with where it is. I'm not too worried. This thing. Honestly, we'll probably burn it or leak it off, so it's not a huge deal. And just like that, guys, we are done with the oil change, so the only other thing you'd want to do at this point is, of course, start it up, 
check for any leaks under the truck. I might let it run for just a minute or two. Like I say, see if you got any leaks or anything like that. But I'm not too worried about it. This guy, it's probably gonna be fine. So now I'm gonna run down to the gas station, and fill it up with some gas, cause we gotta get, we just gotta run that crap through there, and we'll see if it'll start a little better after getting some more fresh gas in there. Hope you guys found this video informational and helpful. If you did, leave a like on it. Be sure to subscribe, guys. I sure appreciate it. I'm gonna leave some links down below to some products that you can use, or that I'm recommending, like the AC Delco filter that's gonna fit yours to Amazon. And if you guys did like the video, consider using the link down below, cause it does actually help the channel. Uh, monetarily so it's definitely appreciated all right guys so at this point give yourself a pat on the back you've done a good job um, we're gonna have another video on top tier gas because uh, that's that's what I've been running on all my vehicles here lately and I just really like it uh, I think the pros outweigh the cost increase that you see especially in my area you know it's it's crazy it's like 10 cents higher uh, unless you know where to shop and whatnot like I say we'll do another video sometime on uh, different gasolines and the quality and whatnot and I'm gonna enjoy this fresh new steering wheel if you didn't check out the leather conditioning video we had check it out earlier this week uh, we'll put a card somewhere on here real quick but the steering wheel's feeling good so this old gal's got some love here lately and we got more coming so stay tuned. Alright, thanks for watching guys.